Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you touch the power supply, which is going to be generally your big metal box on the side towards the back of the computer where your ports are. You're going to touch this to make sure that you discharge any static electricity. That's like the electricity that you get when you shock someone. If you were to shock the motherboard or any kind of circuit on the mother on the computer, you would short it out and most likely it wouldn't work. So what we're going to do first is you're going to locate your memory and that's going to be these long strips right here. And you'll either usually see um, either four slots or two slots and sometimes six slots. Uh, they are usually different colors. As you can maybe see here, you've got yellow ones and you've got red ones. First, I'm going to show you how to take it out. If you notice these little levers, right, white leveler levers on the side, they lock into little grooves on the side of the memory chips. So to release one, simultaneously, you need to push down on two of them, which will push the memory up and out. It will require some force. Just be careful and then try touch the sides of them and bring them up evenly and you'll notice now these ones have um, heat sinks on the sides so there's metal covering it to they're called heat spreaders only touch the sides of the memory chips if they have heat spreaders um, and then when you have these make sure you put it on an anti-static bag so again you don't um, electrocute it um, so this is what you're going to see if you have a memory module that does not have a heat spreader. You will see black chips on the sides and you will also see uh, stickers on one side. These stickers will tell you what you need to know if you need to upgrade the memory or replace it. It'll tell you the type, the speed, the brand, the serial codes, how much memory this particular chip has. And yeah. Okay, now when you're going to want to put this in, you'll notice there's a little groove on the bottom of the memory module. This is designed so you can only put in the memory module in the right way. Um, you might not be able to notice it, but it is off to one side slightly, so you can only put it in one way. On the memory slot on the motherboard, you'll notice there's a place where that little um, in groove will go. So you need to see which side you need to put it on. That's It's pretty simple. Then what you're going to want to do is by holding it by the sides, again not on the side, I can hold it right here because this has a heat spreader, but if it doesn't then you don't want to do that. You're going to put this in, into the slot. Um, and then you're going to have to, with equal pressure on each side, press it down. And these little um, the little clamps will clamp into place and sometimes depending on the force that the motherboard gives out um, sometimes you can just press on the top like so and it'll snap in but on some other boards like this one usually you're gonna want to kinda push in the little locks also while pushing on the top using uh, your finger your, uh, point your finger and your thumb and pressing them down simultaneously and you will notice when you you'll know that they're all in when the little locks, the levers are all um, the same, um, uh, even with each other. And you will know that, and they're all of the same height, so you know it's pushed in correctly.